everyone, this is Michael Den Corn Holy Olis, <laughs> aka Mike the Microphone, here to bring you another one of my shitty music remix whatnots, dramatic readings, and shit. No, anyways, it's Nate, also known as Poma Man 100, to bring you another edition of Pony Fan Fiction Theater. I'm with Kurt. Hello, everybody, it is Nate here, and I'm here to suck dick and eat chocolate, and I'm all out of chocolate. You're a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just only kidding. Anyways, we're about to reach Soundwave, made by the it was made by the same author as um, Golden Orchard. And read along if you like. Let's begin. <clears throat> the deep booming bass and the flashy neon lights of Ponyville's most popular nightclub had drawn you in. Now, however, they were all giving you a dull headache. Hey, how's every pony doing tonight? A raspy female voice called out to the crowd. You managed to push. Push your headache aside and focus on the source of the voice. A unicorn mare with a white coat, a striped ma blue mane, and an awesome-looking purple sunglasses. She seems to be the club's DJ for tonight. You're fairly certain you've seen her before, like um, maybe on TV or in a magazine. DJ Point 3 or something like that. Your focus is shattered by more than slightly drunken crowd roaring as an affirmative response to DJ's question. Your headache immediately returns, twice as bad as it was. You stumble towards the fire exit and barge through. <laughs> out into the back alley. The fresh, cool night air goes a long way to curing your headache. After a while, you prepare to re-enter the club and brace yourself for the booming headache-inducing noise once more. You head inside and to find a room under a haze of smoke. Oh, great. The druggies had raided the place. You turn to the exit, but bump into a stallion who's pre pretty clearly out of his mind or some, on some kind of hallucin... <laughs> hallucinogen... <laughs> I can't forget pronounce that loud. Hallucinogenic. Elucidogenic. There you go. You quickly head b back inside the club. The crowd's growing rowdiness has put you on the edge. Predictably enough, two nightclub patrons start throwing punches at each other, and pretty, pretty quickly the whole club is turned into a brawling room. <laughs> DJ Point 3 hops down from her turntable and walks over to you. I hate this part, she butters. Huh? Is the best reply you could come up with. Someone's always ending up starting a fight. Every single night, she explains. Hey, you don't look like the other brain dead morons swarming all over this place. Wanna get out of here? Aren't you the DJ? Won't they need you to play the next song, you ask? DJ Point 3 gestures a hoof to the crowd. The dance floor has devolved into a pure everyone for themselves brawl. I don't think these guys give, give a shit about the music anymore, she laughs. Okay, let's go, I guess, you say. You leave for the fire exit together. Oh yeah, my name's Vinyl, but you know me as DJ Pwn3. Or DJ Pony, whatever you guys say it. That she says, that's my stage name. You tell her your own name in the response. She pushes her sunglasses up and rests them on her horn, revealing her bright red eyes. Hey, do you have anywhere to go tonight? She asks. If not, then you can come back to my place. She oh, kinky. <laughs> she Did she just ask you on a date? Uh, sure. Cool. You reach her house and she opens the door. Inside, the inside is just how you expect it to be. The floor is littered with all kinds of music, magazines, and junk. There's a set of instruments and a big turntable in the corner of the room. You see a fat stallion sitting on the couch. He looks absolutely disgusting. He has fat folds over his body, each one dripping sweat. His mane looks greasy and unkempt, as does his fur. He also seems to be emitting a disgusting smell. Sweat mixed with something else. Hey, Dad. And I already felt sick. Dad. <laughs> Final address is the stallion. He mutters something in response, not taking his eyes off the TV. You find it amazing that such an ugly father can have such an amazing, beautiful daughter. Yeah, I just added amazing, whatever. Final leads you to her bedroom. Hey, I'll be back in a sec. Wait right here. She says as she leaves the room. You hear the, her sho hear the shower turn on. While she's sh oh here we go, while she's showering, you decide oh, to have a quick Jesus. look around their bedroom. Yeah, snoop around. Looking to one of the drawers, she yields an interesting find: a long, dark green dildo. <laughs> you stare at, you okay. stare at it for a moment. You look back at the door. Final isn't back yet. You gingerly place the dildo at the entrance to your anus. It feels weird. Oh, fuck it out. door swings open. Hey, says Vinyl. You yelp and jump back in shock, causing you to sit right on top of the dildo. Ah, you scream. 
What's wrong? Vinyl asks, her ruby eyes filled with concern. Nothing! You scream. Hey, I just need to go to the toilet first. I'll be back in a second. You continue to scream before wilding out in your room, leaving Vinyl looking confused and creeped out. You enter the bathroom and lock the door. You feel the dildo stuck in front of the sun. You, let me just say something. Why? Is this... Uh, is this why not? person doing that in the first place? He, unless he... Ugh. He's a teenager and he's curious hormones and all that shit. Yeah, but it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's see. And let me read that sentence again. You enter the bathroom and lock the door. You can feel the dildo and stuck and firmly inside you. Oh god, oh fuck. Oh god, no. You try to grab the small part of the dildo that hasn't gone inside you and slide it out. Sadly, you don't have the sufficient dexterity and you actually push the dildo in further. You hear a, ser you hear a hideous shrump sound as it disappears into your ass. Ah! You scream again. You panic. What should you do? Oh, fuck. What should you do? Tell Vinyl you accidentally sat on a dildo and now it's stuck inside you and you have to go to the hospital? Frantic wearing leads you to the one conclusion. You will simply have to continue your date with Vinyl in an attempt to ignore the dildo. You waddle back into Vinyl's room. Yeah, you waddle back into Vinyl's room where she's laying in the bed. Hey, you say, <laughs> cringing due to discomfort. Uh, hey, so are we gonna do this? Vinyl asks. Yep, yes we are! You say, shakily. Uh, what's wrong with your voice? Why do you keep cringing and acting weird in the middle of sentences, Vinyl asks. I don't, you assure her, forcing your voice not to change pitch. Come on, let's get it on! You mount Vinyl and you line your penis up with a vagina. Oh, well, great. So far, so good. You thrust in. This isn't exact actual going too badly. Considering you have a 12-inch piece of plastic lodging firmly inside you, that would definitely require medical medical attention to move. Then, disaster strikes once more. Vinyl begins to buck her hips back and forth to match the rhythm set by your thrusting. The force of your hips causes the dildo to shift slightly. You yelp in pain. She does it again, and you feel the dildo shift again. But this time, you hear a click from it. You begin shaking wildly. The vibrate. The vibrate setting has been turned on. No! Oh, fuck. You cry as you shake. Is your inside shake? Uh, what the fuck? Asks Vinyl. What the hell is wrong with you? You fall into the floor shaking. This is going to require some a convincing explanation. Uh, I have epilepsy. You stutter. Vinyl's horn glows as you feel the dildo being techn... Techn... Yeah, fuck. I'm not good with my... Technic... Not good with... Technically... Tech... Tele tele telekinetically, yeah, something like that. I'm not good with my big words today, God damn it. Remo Don't worry, I'm not either. Being that's removed from your rectum. How did this get in there? Final ass, looking pissed off. Uh, I don't know, must be one of those freaky urban things, like Slenderman and stuff like that, you say. Were you trying to use this dildo? She asked. Yes, you replied, ashamed. And you got it stuck. She, she, she continues. Yes, you confirm. She burst out laughing. <laughs> this is the funniest shit ever, she says through the laughter. Aren't you mad I uh, use your dildo, though? You asked. Nah, it's not mine, it's my dad's. Final replies. Oh, fuck! You spend the next two hours vomiting and obsessively washing yourself in the shower. Oh, that is... Oh, that is, oh my god. Blech.